Hey everyone, the Taylorette here. Today is a new project and this is what I'm going to be working on in this box. It is a dress of a customer for from her mother that she wore at her wedding and she wants to make it into a more modern day dress. Okay, so I'm going to adjust this mannequin to Mia's size and that way I can just throw it on the mannequin and fit it the way I need to. All right, so we have all this detail that we can work with and looking at the skirt, there is a long train. However, I don't know if we will be able to preserve that, but we will try and preserve the lace. But what she's wanting is tulle skirt. And what I'm going to do is chop this off. And basically this dress is going to look somewhat similar to my wedding dress, but not entirely. So what she's wanting is to keep the netting up here, take the sleeves off, and then in the back, have this still here. We are not keeping the skirt on the mannequin, so what I'm going to do is just cut it off so I can actually work on this on my table. All right, so we have a zipper. I'm going to take the zipper out. And last clip, clip this off. Voila, we have a skirtless dress. Okay, so we gotta get rid of the sleeves as well. So I'm going to chop those off. And there we go. We have the base of the bodice and the shell, and it does need to be taken in a little bit. It is a little bit too large for her size. So we'll take in the size just a little bit, and I'm going to add boning to this dress because it's kind of, as you can see, it's a little bit unstable here. So as you can see, these sleeves have lots of lace on them. I want to save that lace and there's a lot, there's a lot on the skirt here as well. So I'm going to take all of this off so that I can work with it on the actual dress. There we go and I can trim around it and cut these apart as I need them as well. All right, so next step is I'm going to trim this off here. So her measurement from shoulder to her waist is 16 and a half. So I'm going to mark a pin right here. That's where it's going to be <clears throat> finished. And we're all trimmed. So I added boning into the front here and the sides, and I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's a little bit more structure. It's not as saggy around the sides. So it's a little bit more of a smooth fit around the bodice. And I'm going to use my little extra pieces to fill in the bodice here. But before I actually move on to that step, I have to add the bias tape to the armhole to finish it off and hand stitch that down make it nice and clean. Um, and then I did actually fold over the netting part a quarter inch twice and then hand stitch that down as well. And checking the fit on the mannequin to see if the armholes look right. So zip it up and measure shoulder seam to shoulder seam and we're good to go. to work on the skirt part and what I'm basically going to do is do one layer of the um, lining how not the lining the actual dress so then I might actually add a lining I'm not sure this is a skirt piece that I used from my wedding dress and I'm just going to apply this to her wedding dress as well this is a piece that has a train and I'm only going to do the train in the tool material and then do the under part of the dress just a basic solid satin. Now this is the back of the skirt and that's the front so you can see where the train comes out. So yeah I cut two of these train pieces and then I cut out my lining and my dress layer. Here's my lining and then my 
actual layer of the dress and I did the rolled hem on the edge here. So that's nice and clean. All right, so it's time to put our layers together. I'm going to slide this on top of my lining so that it's all enclosed on the inside. And the tool, we're gonna put the tool layer, we're putting all the layers together at this point. And so I am going to grab one of my layers of tool and I'm going to slide it on just like I did that other layer, put it under here. I'm going to put another layer of tool on and then all my layers are done. Okay, so now this is all pinned together. I have all my layers around the waist and then I'm gonna baste it together on the machine. I'm going to put this on the mannequin with the skirt pinned to the mannequin so that I can see how it drapes. So, and the next step is to stitch the waist to the bodice. I'm going to start by pinning. The skirt is sewn on through the serger. I put it through the serger. I worked on taking apart all the lace off of the skirt. I'm going to use it on this waist here, and I'm going to have it trickling down so it kind of blends so it's not so cut off. And this next part, I need to hand stitch them down. I'm not going to do it by machine because I tried that on my wedding dress and it didn't work out too well, so you have to hand stitch it. This is the final dress. This is what it ended up looking like. I got the official approval from Mia and I cannot wait to send it out and have her try it on. In the meantime, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and I will see you next time.